Now, uh, talking a little bit about what it was like when they were back in camp. So they weren't out on the road all the time. They weren't out in the planes all the time. Sometimes they'd be back in camp. They had their they had bands. They had some of them had their wives there. Mm. Uh, they had good food, and you know, basically, good stuff going on. They had pretty relaxed time, but. It was always, let's prepare, we're going back out in the field. So they're back out in the field here. General Custer, who as usual was riding ahead with a couple of troops, came upon smoldering campfires that showed that three Indian teepees had recently been there. He sent Bloody Knife ahead with several Indians. So that Bloody Knife, you're going to hear his voice throughout here, Bloody Knife was Custer's right-hand man. He was a, he was a Indian scout. Soon they galloped back with the information that they had located the Indians. Custer surrounded the little camp and brought back four bucks with him to our camp. The head was a minor chief named One Stab, whose squaw was a daughter of Red Cloud. Custer promised them food if they helped him, but they seemed to be in a hurry to leave, and before they could be checked, they mounted their ponies and were off. Custer sent troopers after them, but the only one they could catch and bring back was one stab. He was told he would be given all the bacon, sugar, and coffee that two ponies could carry if he'd act as a guide. He agreed. So uh, again, I guess the reason I wanted to bring that up is it shows that there was Indians working on both sides, mm-hmm. and there was Indians that went from back and forth between sides, mm. depending on... You know, depending on what the situation is, depending on how they got bribed, mm-hmm. but and and also, you know, we know that there was wars between the Indians. Mm-hmm. You know, so that's why sometimes the Indians teamed up with the soldiers, the yeah. American troops, and went and got after it with them. Yeah, is that is that because they got when you say bribed, like they got kind of enticed with civilization? Well, no, I'm talking that was a straight up bribe right there. They're talking to one stab and they say, hey, one stab, will you help guide us? Mm. Well, I don't know if I feel comfortable about that. Okay, we'll give you all the bacon, all the sugar, and all the coffee that you can carry on two horses. He says, all right, cool, yeah, I'm in. Do this. Huh. Yeah, and if they're warring, you know, if that if that's kind of their enemy in a way, anyway, right. you know, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, maybe he was just maybe he was just getting a, getting some food out of what he would have already liked to do. Yeah, and what is it? The, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Mm-hmm. There you go. There you go. 